it's like to live with a constant sense of lack and a constant sense of guilt and shame and embarrassment for that sense of lack that I didn't understand and I didn't feel like I had the right to feel. I struggled with eating disorders, anxiety, depression, body image, bullying, promiscuity, drug and alcohol addiction, sleep disorders, toxic relationship with food, toxic self-talk. From a very early age in my life, this was a pattern that continued to develop strength. And while I was pursuing really huge goals, these habits were my downfall. I kept thinking that if I achieve X, I'm gonna be happy. If I can just get a boyfriend, if I could just have a six pack, if I could just get that full ride scholarship, I'll be happy. But one after another, I achieved these goals. And what I discovered, as you can expect, that's not where happiness resides. Actually achieving these goals with the expectation that that's where my happiness is awaiting for me, sent me down even deeper. So while I was walking around San Diego State campus on a full ride scholarship playing basketball, I was more miserable than I had ever been before. I felt like I was locked inside this shell that was thickening and slowing me down and I couldn't escape it. Or like I had an umbrella attached to my head that was a dark cloud that I just couldn't shake off. I felt like something was wrong with me and I didn't understand what I could do to change these patterns I had spent years developing. So I broke down several times. My life shattered in front of me. I, I wasn't able to function. Uh, I had an existential crisis. I developed self-harm patterns. I got to the point where I realized that my life is going in a direction that I am actually not willing to continue for much longer. And that was very startling. So I studied. I finally started opening up and sharing what I was going through. I researched about what is happening inside the mind and the body. Uh, I became fascinated with philosophy and seeing these philosophers who had been through very similar things that I felt I was going through and just witnessed the way that they moved through their problems and um, what, they, what they studied and, and how they walked themselves through it. I, I started cracking open and really becoming fascinated with life and with death. And after four years of intense inquiry, I finally got to the point where I felt like I understand what I need. I understand the complexities and the simplicities of what this human experience is. And that studying hasn't stopped. Six years later, I am still fascinated with life and with death. And I love having conversations that go deep beneath the surface of what lovely weather or <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, I want to get deep. I want, I want to hear what people's pain points are. And I, I want to share what I'm practicing and what I'm noticing and what I'm building. I, I just, I love depth. I need depth in my life. And that's what I love sharing with people. Dopamine was born from this fascination, from this passion. And this 21 day challenge is really the starting point of building a new trajectory in your life. That's what was the game changer for me. I realized that I was just carrying the weight of yesterday into every new day. And I didn't understand how to change that pattern until I stopped every single morning and really started thinking about how do I want to show up today? I know that 95% of what you think today, you also thought yesterday. And so I realized that's terrifying because the thoughts in my head uh, are not ones that I want to be repeating for the rest of my life. So it was in the morning routine that everything shifted for me. I took time to sit and breathe and move and, and write. How do I want to feel? What's my intention today? What does that look like? 
I did that for months until I started to really feel a huge change in my energy and in my state. I now devote every single day of my life into learning and researching and practicing and teaching and inspiring because I have healed myself and I want to teach other people how they can heal themselves. Because when we can optimize our mental health, we have everything we need to be exactly who we desire to be. So that's what dopamine is about. And that's what you're going to experience in this 21 day challenge.